so it was a couple of days after the inauguration, January 22nd, and it was one of those days where everything sort of happens at once, and not to quote Katy Perry, um, but you feel like a plastic bag. <laughs> anyway, so I'm sitting in a care of coffee, and I'm feeling like a plastic bag uh, when I get a text from my, my friend Forrest, and he says, did you see what Abby posted? And Abby's this girl, we know what we don't really like. No, I said, what was it? And he tells me to look on her Facebook page, which I do, and there it is. It's a long, misinformed article she's linked to about the Women's March. And I'm like, oh no, please don't make me read this. He's like, you gotta, or I'm gonna comment. And so I read it, and I get through the first couple paragraphs, and I'm going through it. It's basically amounting to, I have rights. So I think it's ridiculous that these women are marching. I'm like, oh, <laughs> but I mean, at this point, I'm just, something is rising up inside me. I'm like, I have to comment on this Facebook page, this post of a person I know. And so I did. I don't know what came over me, but I dragged this girl for all she was worth. <laughs> um, and it was a bulleted list. It was a long, it was like this long enumerating the ways that I hated the article that she posted. And at the end, after I forced her to read this novel that I wrote on her Facebook page, she just said, I liked it. <laughs> and, and that's how you know it's a good drag. But I wasn't done, I was ready for more. So I left and I got on the bus and I went back to campus and it was super cold. And it was so cold that my fingers were shaking as I resolutely typed out my second Facebook novel of the night. And this one, I was like, I can't believe it. If people don't like the Women's March, it's so unradical. It's not even that big of a deal. If you don't like the Women's March, take a look at yourself. And I'm just posting that. So I get back to campus and I go back to my room and I sit down in my big pink chair and I just sit there and I'm fuming. And then I see somebody commented on my post. It's a girl I knew in high school and she's like, uh, well, the Women's March was kind of transphobic and it turned into a Hillary rally. I'm like, okay, not what I was talking about, but I'll get there, I'll go there. I'm on a roll, I'm ready to comment. So I commented on my own post and it was so long. And I was saying, I see what you're saying, but you know, it's not radical, Black Lives Matter is better, better. And, and then I was writing and writing and then I got to the end and I posted it and I sort of thought to myself, well, why am I and making think to myself, why am I making um, this post? Why what am I making it's all these me. posts on Facebook? Because I haven't really posted at all in the past months, past, past few months. So why is it important that I'm making them now? And I'm sort of circling around, well, you didn't make posts in defense of Black Lives Matter. You didn't make posts demonizing Donald. You wanted to be sort of an impartial logical moderate because why and I sort of I'm circling around I'm circling around and I'm getting there and it's blizz why are some forms of hatred more acceptable than others um, why am I willing to defend the women's march to the death um, but I haven't made a single post about Black Lives Matter. And it comes down to privilege. I mean, that's, that's, I'm not, I'm not evil. I'm not stupid. It's just privilege. And that can make you feel both of those things. And it's a hard realization, but I mean, it's privilege. I'm a privileged white girl. And it hasn't affected me personally. And now that it has, that's when you make a Facebook post about it. But. I mean, the tension just eased out of my shoulder, just relaxed into my big pink chair. And I made another Facebook post about it. Uh, and this one got like negative two likes because it was so radical. It was like, bash the fash, take a critical look at yourself. But nobody liked it, but I didn't really care. Um, and I, didn't, I still didn't care, definitely didn't care. Uh, when my dad called me, my Trump supporter dad, he called me on the phone like two minutes later uh, what's going on, Elizabeth? And I said, Dad. <laughs> and I was shaking again, but it, it wasn't from cold. I said, Dad, <laughs> I am so glad you asked. <laughs> and then we talked. 